Yeah, police have not. Police say that it is too early in the investigations to say what led up to these shootings, and they haven't announced any arrests at this point. According to Savannah Police crime data, these latest shootings bring the homicide count in the city so far this year to eight. That is still down significantly from this time last year. Regardless, people are still talking about this latest round of gun violence. WTOC's Camille Syed is in Garden City, the scene of another deadly shooting overnight. Camille. Hey, Flynn, yeah, you can see the remnants of that shooting at the Pines at Garden City right here behind me. A 23-year-old was killed this morning. The, these shootings are leaving a community begging for change. These shootings affecting families and people who live near the crime scene. It's scary and it's dangerous. It brings Tanaka Stringer back to the day she says she lost her son to a shooting while he was robbed. I started the nonprofit because my oldest son, Rashad Akeem Charles, was murdered five days before he turned 21. That nonprofit is a mother's hurting heart and offers grief counseling and holds gun violence awareness events. Say, this is not just about my son. This was happening way before my son. And as you can see, several shootings. She believes it's time families who lost their loved ones to gun violence get together to advocate to local and state leaders for change. This is why I cry out so much and this is why I advocate so much and this is why I say I will not let my voice be um, silenced and this is why I keep saying and reaching out to other parents. We have to come together. And pastors like Charles Roberson of Kingdom Life Fellowship are also disappointed by several shootings at once. I see myself and so many of the young people that are involved in some of these incidents. He also serves as an SPD chaplain. Roberson says pastors across Savannah are meeting often to come up with a way to get youth in positive programs. Pastors and all of these are groups that are coming together and working hard to help solve some of the issues we have in Savannah. It, it is complex. It is not easy, but we are encouraged and we're going to keep working hard every day to make a difference. He says Kingdom Life also has conflict resolution trainings for this very reason. Whether it's a month with none or whether it's a month with several, we don't ever want any to happen, and we're going to keep working as hard as we can to make this the best Savannah we can. If you have lost a loved one to gun violence, we'll have more information on a mother's hurting and, and Kingdom Life Fellowship on our website. Reporting in Garden City, Camille Syed, WTOC News. Thank you.